Hello friends, in this video tutorial we discuss about a program how to display the record from the database in servlet. Let's see with practical. Here I am using the MySQL as a database and uh, Eclipse for writing the code for servlet and uh, just I click on the file and then new and uh, then click on the dynamic web project. Here I need to write my project name and uh, simply I write my project name as a uh, record. Display the record display record demo and uh, click on the next next and uh, check the generate web.xml deployment descriptor and then click on the finish my project is displayed here and uh, simply i right click on the web content and click on the new and take the html file and giving here my file name as a uh, index.html and then click on the enter press enter and within the body I am taking here a font tag and giving here the action equal dot slash servlet1 servlet1 and then close it I am just giving here the action as a servlet1 and uh, I am just taking here a table and within the table I am taking here a tr and close it tr tag within the tr i am taking two td for and close it and i write here enter the id and taking here second td and close it and taking here a tag input type equal text giving here the name as a id and close it okay taking here another tr tag and uh, close it and uh, td and close it and within this i write here the input type equal submit and uh, close it and giving here the value as a search and then close it and uh, simply I write here call span equal to and save it okay look here simply display the information enter the ID onto the screen and uh, input type as a text here user enter any any id and uh, click on the button and uh, submit button and when the user click on the submit button control send to servlet one so i need here to create a servlet so i just click or explore the java resources and right click on the src and take a servlet here I need to write my servlet name and uh, simply I am giving here my servlet name as servlet1 and then click on the next and then next and finish my servlet is created here and I just come into the do get method and delete this information and here I simply write print writer class and object out equal response dot get writer and close it you well known about the print writer work of the print writer and simply import the java.io package because the print writer class available into the java.io package and you look here i am creating here the object of the print writer class as out and calling the http servlet response method get writer and get writer method return the print writer so you can uh, simply use uh, with the help of out you can write any information onto the page and uh, that is displayed into the browser okay and uh, in the next line i am declaring a variable string id equal request request dot get parameter and 
just I am passing here the parameter as the ID because in the HTML I am simply giving the name of my text as the ID user enter the ID and this information I simply store into the ID variable and their data type as a string press enter in the next line I am using here the out dot print method and uh, simply creating here a table using the table tag and then tr I just write here the th table heading and uh, close it and I simply write here id then close th and then another th close th table heading th means table heading and just giving name as a name and taking another th and then close it and giving here the address Okay, and I close the tr okay in the next line I am using here the try and catch try and catch and write here the exception p and opening and closing brace and simply write here the system dot out dot print ln and uh, passing here the object as a p and here I need to write my JDBC code Java database connectivity so first I write here the class dot for name and uh, write here the com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver and terminated with semicolon the font name method simply register the driver class and just here I am using the mysql driver class for runtime loading and the font method available static method that is available into the class and in the next line I am using the connection interface and creating here the con object and write here the driver manager dot get connection and I simply need here to write the URL of my database so my URL of the database as a JDBC colon MySQL colon slash slash and localhost colon 3306 this is the port number and then giving here the test as a my database and a root as a user id and a password as also root in my case and i need here to import the package import java dot sql dot star okay and come inside and in the next line I am using here the statement stat ent object as stmt equal con dot create statement okay the connection have a create statement method that is help to create the statement and return the statement and with the help of a statement object that is stmt we can execute the database queries and, uh, I write here the result set rs equal stmt dot execute query within the query I simply write here select star from t12 where id equal id terminated with semicolon I am giving here the query that select the t12 table and giving here the condition match with the id 
and uh, store all the information into the result set object rs and then press enter uh, in the next line i am using here the while loop and write here rs dot next i am calling just next method The main use of the next method is to it always display the true if found the record into into the database and return the false if not found the record into the database. Okay, and uh, within the body of the loop, I simply write here print method and uh, I simply using the tr tag uh, and. Uh, using here the td close and in the next line I am using the out dot print and write here rs dot get int giving here the column name as a 1 and out dot print close it and close the td tag td tag and okay Look here, I am creating a new row, means new tier and taking here the dt and calling the here rh.getInt and giving here the column as a 1, means I am retrieving the data uh, of the id that is column 1 into the first td and I am doing same things with the remains data or dot print and open here the next td and just write here out dot print and uh, I write here rs dot get string giving here the column as a 2 means I am retrieving the name from the database and close the td close the td ok and uh, just I copy this code and paste here and uh, simply I change the column name here in the third column I simply getting the address from the database and uh, I just write here the tr tag and close it ok and uh, save it and uh, at last I write here the out dot print for uh, closing the table and uh, save it I just came here and before this code I write here out dot print and uh, taking here a heading as well label and uh, close it and uh, right here display the display the record ok one thing I also write here giving here the border equals to 1 and uh, save it ok my code is completed here and uh, after that I come into index page and save it and uh, right click and run it click on the next and then oh there is problem because I am not creating the database so first I need to create my database and uh, it is taking little time but I terminate from here ok and uh, I close it I just open my SQLs, my SQL and connect it 
okay and select my database as a test and creating here a table create table t12 and giving here the column as a id int and name where can 30 because i want to store the string type so i am taking here the where can and add one is the address where can 30 and then close it select it and execute it okay my table is created here and just ins insert some records into my table t12 i write here values 1 comma raw comma no enter and execute it okay I just insert the second record and select it and execute it. Okay, and insert the third record. Amit and Dali and execute it. Okay, and I just select. Firing the select code, select star from T12 to display all the records at a time. Okay, this is my th three records stored into the table, and just I close it and uh, I copy my SQL connector because I need to add my jar file, my SQL connector. So I just copy it. Come into web content and web INF and paste into the LIB folder and paste it into the LIB folder and click on the right click on the MySQL connector and build path add to build path. You well known about these steps and simply I save and run it. okay and then click on the next finish it is taking little time okay The index.html displayed into the browser and simply I pass the id as a 1 and click on the search and uh, my record is displayed here, display the record, id is 1, ram and address in order. I am passing here the 2 and click on the search. I display the second record, 2, ram is in order. Come and pass here just three third record search and display the third record. Thank you, friends. Please subscribe my channel and comment on my video. And thanks for watching my video. Thanks a lot.